And so then, moving away from your self-defined structure, the natural rhythm of being human, for as long as you are human as well, will want to restructure itself according to that new vision according to that new frequency. So it wants to, in a sense, put that expansive state of being into a shell we call the body and into an understanding or a non-physical shell we call the mind. It wants to understand, it wants to penetrate, it wants to be able to apply consciously. It wants to be able to give it a proper place. It wants to be able to align its energy. It wants to be able to change its cellular structure and its DNA and all that. So it wants to take your new experience and integrate that. And that's what those valley experiences are best for. And how can you recognize them? Well, you probably already do, but you'll feel more like hibernating. You feel more like oh, stepping back from life for a moment, resting in your essence, or just not judging yourself. You feel like things are not flowing as well. And you just feel like being around someone that doesn't judge you, which is really just a permission slip or a symbol for you wanting to not judge yourself in that state of being. You just want to be loved. You know those periods where you just want to be loved. You just want to be taken care of. You just want your mother to be there or your whatever it is, your daddy or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Those are symbols for really what you want from yourself. You just want to love yourself in that state. You want to cherish yourself. You want to accept that this expansion is now being integrated, embodied into the structure of the human vehicle the human instrument, the human conduit. And so all that you, or all that that desires from you is that you hold the space for that, that you hold that loving, unconditionally loving space for that and not judge yourself. And as you do that, you will find great acceleration to be possible right away again in that valley experience. Whether that is as physically active as you may have been in your peak experience or ex as expressive, maybe it's not as expressive when you are in that valley experience. Nevertheless, acceleration of a different kind happens. Flow and movement and change and progression of a different kind happens, but nevertheless, progression and movement and expansion, even in those valley experiences. But not if at the moment that the peak ends, you start judging yourself, you start doubting yourself, you start... Well, you can always question yourself. You can always... Did I start to believe in some kind of idea of time, space, limitation, lack, these are also very valuable questions to ask yourself when you are in that little valley experience of integration. Because you have the time to do that. Things start to stop for a moment. You're not as asked for, it's not as demanding for you to be conscious of life all the time. You can sit back and ask yourself sort of to review what occurred, what happened. There was this peak experience, there was this flow, and then at any point was there some kind of barrier that was reached like the vibration couldn't go higher than that because there was some kind of doubt that kicked in there was some kind of lack belief that was aroused and so it's a great time for contemplation as well and then very naturally you find that as you accept that period as you send love to that period and as you start to understand that period and or what may have occurred or and or how you may have contributed to it dipping perhaps as far as it seemed to have dipped rather than it just being a valley plateauing experience of integration perhaps you aided it in feeling lower in its frequency than it had to again this is not to judge yourself this is just to gain greater understanding and to be happy with the fact that you did that to yourself so now that you have an so that you now have an opportunity to bring into clarity what is what exactly occurred what is your tendency what do you tend to do when you are expanding as fast as you are when you are flowing as effortlessly as you are do you, you reach a point of doubt do you reach a point of this is too much bliss or this is too insane this is too crazy this is too magical this is lacking structure this is lacking familiarity i need to stop right here let me stop right here all right you can also kind of dictate the peak and valley experiences for yourself. You can open up and intend for or ask for a peak experience. And you can also end for or ask for it to end or ask for it to stop for a period of time. If you feel like you're having to catch your breath, so to speak. Does all that make sense? Okay. So the crucial element of this is the, the key is to not judge yourself to in fact love yourself, hold that unconditional love for whatever period you're going through. 
And then, if you have the space of mind to do that, make as effective use of it as you can. Investigate, but very non-judgmentally. Investigate. Ah, review the previous few days, perhaps, or a week or two, or whatever that period was, and see what occurred. Just observe what occurred, and what occurred when you did dip, and again, without judgment, because part of it is natural. Part of it is contributed to by our doubts and by our legs, but part of it is an actual energetic phenomena, the rhythms of expansion and implosion. That continues to happen. So part of it is very natural, and part of it is, is added onto by our human self that then reacts negatively perhaps to the events of life or to the lack of flow or that responds negatively to the acceleration of flow because that can be scary as well. If it goes too far, if it becomes too present, if it becomes too vibrant, too palpable, too far away removed from where you've placed yourself inside of a structure that you are familiar with, it can be kind of scary, right? So you tend to say stop. And so life responds, okay, stop. Why don't you hibernate for a few days? I'll make sure nothing too fancy happens in your life. Nothing too crazy happens. You can digest all the new information, all the new realization, all the new vibrations that you've experienced. And I'll give you some time to integrate. And when you have integrated that, your foundation is, again, that much more solid to take off from, to expand even further from. And this keeps going and going and going and going and going until you don't recognize yourself anymore. But you don't want to anyway. So at some point you just learn to go with that flow and to make as effective use of it as you can, both the peaks and the valleys.